YouTube, what's up? It's Celine here, or Cell, as some of you like to call me. Um, today I'm going to be doing a question and answer video because I've not done one of these videos in such a long time and I asked you guys if you had any questions and you surely did considering I had over 75 questions within around, I don't know, 34 minutes, which is insane. So again, if you want to be a part of these question and answer videos, make sure to just follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, all my links are down below as always. So without any further ado, Let's get started. Lissa Pergola asks, will you ever go skydiving? Honestly, I feel like I'd be all for it. Like I'd be like, yeah, yeah, like let's go. Let's have a great time. Let's go skydiving. And then I feel like a few days beforehand, I just kind of freak out and be like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So probably not. Maybe when I am like in my 20s, <laughs> when I'm feeling adventurous or something. But as of right now, I don't really see myself going skydiving. Um, You guys have some pretty interesting usernames. Maya asks, how cool is Maya, aka drinking maple lattes? She is just so cool that even just looking at her username, I'm suddenly feeling really chilly because that's how cool she is. Facts, are you red era or are you speak now era? Okay, I am speak now era because that's I that was such a great time in my life. I was in seventh grade and that's when I met Fiona, my best friend. I started really getting into Taylor Swift and all these other music groups and everything and I really started to figure out who I was. So I am more speak now, but I love Red. I love the album Red, but I would say I'm more speak now. Jen Whitworth asks, how did you feel when meeting Taylor Swift? Jen also asks, how old were you when you uploaded your first YouTube video? Um, I was 13. Yes, I was 13 because I was going into my freshman year of high school. I was in 8th grade, like end of 8th grade. So I was about 13 or 14, around that age. X Chen asks, best tips on studying for the SAT slash ACTs? I can't even finish one section without wanting to puke. Girl, I feel you. Um... As many of you guys may know if you follow me on Twitter especially, I tend to rant about standardized testing just because I study so much for the standardized tests and it's always frustrating when you when you finish an entire practice test and then you get back your results and they're a little bit lower than what you wanted and what you were expecting. It's always hard to spend so much time on one thing and then not be able to perfect it. And there aren't many cases where if you most of the time, if you work on something hard enough, you could be perfect at it, you could achieve it, but like with things such as like standardized testing, that rule does not apply at all. So my advice would be don't don't drive yourself insane. Don't drive yourself crazy. That's what I'm trying to say here. Because honestly, if you drive yourself crazy, it's not going to do anything other than make you feel terrible. RubyXX asks, favorite movie? I have so many favorite movies. I really love The Butler with... Um, Lee Daniels starring in it. I really like Confessions of a Shopaholic. I really like, um, there's one in my mind. I, li I like Clueless. It's kind of like an airhead movie, but I like Clueless. Um, I like the Harry Potter series. Um, there's a lot more that I just cannot think of in my head right now. <laughs> But I like a range of, I, 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 I like different kinds of movies, like I like historical movies, I like romantic comedies, I like just realistic movies, I, I really, there's like a whole range of movies that I like, so it's not like really one genre in specific. What's your favorite thing about Turkey? Okay, my favorite thing, I've said this on my Turkish channel, if you guys didn't know, I have a Turkish channel where I actually make Turkish videos, so if you ever wanted to just um, subscribe to that, or if you just ever want to hear me talk in a different language, the links are down below as per usual, but anyways, I've said this in my, in my video on my Turkish channel, I said that people in Turkey are a lot closer with one another than in America, and I don't mean like closer as in like um, romantically attracted, but I mean closer as in like friendships and neighbors. Here with neighbors, like you probably have like one or two neighbors that you're just really close with or maybe like you're just friendly with, but chances are you probably don't know everyone in your neighborhood or at least you don't know the good majority of the people in your neighborhood. But in Turkey, everyone is just very relaxed, um, especially during like the summertime. Like people are so relaxed. Like if you see a neighbor walking down the street, you'd be like, hey, I wanna come over and have some coffee or something. But here in Turkey, um, but here in America, it's more like, Oh, like let's get together on this date at this time. Like it's really more organized and in Turkey it's kind of like, hey, let's do what we want when we want. So there's really like no order. And although that may sound like a bit chaotic, I actually kind of prefer it better because you're just kind of like going with the flow. So if you like that kind of lifestyle, I feel like um, you might like Turkey's 
living standards better. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that it was so short, but um, this was a really last minute video and I really just wanted to get a video up and I really hate when people say that, like, oh, I just wanted to film a video just to get a video up, but, like, honestly, I really miss talking to you guys, and I didn't know any other better way than to kind of get back into the swing of things other than make a question and answer video where I could kind of connect with the guys one-on-one -on -one again. And, yeah, um, expect more videos now, especially that school is over. Oh, man, I'm so happy, guys. I'm sure you guys are, too, as your schools are finishing up or probably already over. I'm so excited. I'm going to make more videos for you guys. I'm going to edit more. I have so many ideas planned. If you have any other video requests, leave them down below because I'm so excited to film again. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, everyone.